So um, let me start again. Now this is your code. This is your design. Okay. So we uh, basically we have to work in the code. So uh, we learned that we can type this script in the body tag. Okay. So I have to use a script tag and I have to close the script tag. Okay. Um, the first thing that we will discuss will be the alert tag, one of the very basic tag of JavaScript. With an alert, basically what you can do is whatever you type, for example, uh, hi there. And now if I save this file, file, save as, I have to save it as HTML. So I'll save it on the desktop and I will save it as index.html. Okay. So I'll save it. Yes, replace it. Now, if I open up index.html, what will happen is, as soon as this page opens up, you will see an alert command appearing. Okay, and this says hi there. Now, obviously, like I said, the, the reason why we use JavaScript is so that we can actually uh, interact with the user. Okay, we can add a life to a page. So, alert is one of the ways through which we can give messages to the user. Right? Um, a small defined type A vector and our marker structure uses the script some of the basic rules of JavaScript that you have to follow. So you have to remember these rules. Right? Okay. Can yes. I take it further? So um, next what we'll do is we'll start uh, discussing variables first. If I say VAR and if I say variable A is equal to let's say the four, okay, um, I could even do over here is write alert and display whatever is in A. Okay. Now save it and let's move to view this in a particular view. you see I get 4? Why am I getting 4? Yes. Because obviously I've declared a variable. Okay. Um, remember we talked about single equal to which was assigning. Do you remember double equal to which was comparing? And do you also remember yes. triple equal to which was strictly compare? Okay. Yes. So I said strictly compare will be not that much fun. Okay. So I could even do is I could say variable b is equal to 3 and I could say over here let's say a plus b. Let's save this and let's see what's happening now. I get 7. Can you see this? So this means yes. the variables that we have we can add them, subtract them, divide them. Okay, so I, I, I can use any of the vertical operators on these variables and display them. Any problem? No. Okay. Now what I'll do is I would basically put three in double quotes. What do you think should the output should be? Mm, four. Let's see. Forty three. You know why? Because obviously you didn't know it. So uh, I was not expecting you to answer it incorrectly because you don't know. Uh, plus in Java acts as concatenate and addition. So if I say four in double quotes, sorry, three in double quotes, uh, it's considering three as text. Agree with me. And if I don't put three in double quotes, it will be considered as a number. Right? So basically what's happening is, um, if I put it in double quotes, what happens is A plus B is equal, A plus B becomes what? It becomes 43 because plus is acting as concatenate. Okay, 4 concatenate 3. So plus, I repeat again, will act as concatenate when it sees strings and plus will act as an addition when it sees their number. 
So in Java, you have to uh, treat variables accordingly if you want them to work. You get the point? Yeah. Okay, right? Okay. <clears throat> I'll just remove this. And I'll come to the next part. Now, alert, fine. Alert is a very good way to display messages. But we don't always need alert, okay? We need to actually display something in the document. So for that, what I'll do is I'll reuse document dot write. Document dot write, I will say over here is A. Let me save this. I should be control S, frankly speaking, and F5. And do you see I get four over there in my document, not a message. Can you see this over here? So what's happening is, what do I mean by document.write? By document, what I mean is my entire document, my HTML document. We call this the document, don't we? It's a document. So go to my document and write in my document A. So it comes to my document and writes A. Yes or no? Yes. So if I do the same thing again, document.write A plus B, okay? Uh, control S and let me hit F5 or refresh. I get 7. Same way. Now, instead of using an alert command, I am directly displaying the information on my page. You get the point. And in the same manner, if I basically do this, is if I put this Control S and refresh, I get 43. Same way. Because now plus is acting as concatenate. You get the point? Yes. Okay. Let's use multiplication. Control S, go back, refresh. I get 12. Perfectly fine. Right? Yes. Okay, and if I put this in double quotes, right, okay, let's come to the next part. Okay, um, done with this part, okay, we'll discuss string manipulation now. So what is string manipulation? If I say variable A is equals to uh, this, is known as string duration. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll write over here is document dot write, and over here what I'll do is I'll write a dot. Uh, now, now the good good thing about I don't know why are they not allowing you to use that version. Uh, Anyway, we have to, like, I can't. Uh, variable P is equals to, I'll define anything, I'll add should be added. So, if I write A dot, and over here, let me write over here is, index of I'll just explain you what this is and let me say H let me save this let me go back I get one now um, are you concentrating let me explain you what this is now what do I mean by index by index what I mean is that I call this a string Okay, when number of characters are joined together, it's known as a string. In X in, in Java, um, the indexing starts from zero. This is zero, this is one, T at T is at zero, H is at one, I is at two, three, space, four, five, six. Are you following me? So yeah. my characters have an index number starting from zero and they keep on going on. 
So if I want to find out the numeric position of a character, okay, if I want to find out that H has which index number, I can do it. It says 1. Why it says 1? Because H is in the first, uh, first index number. And if I say index of T, it will obviously say 0. Okay. If I say S, it will say 3. You get the point. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Uh, so if I say over here is let's say uh, I. Okay, right. Let's find index of I. It says 2, obviously, because 0, 1, 2. Any problem with this? No. Okay. Now, now one thing is important. There are different um uh, methods we call this a method okay it's a built-in method did you see that the color of index of changed is different it's gray because it's a defined method in java index of but note one thing that index of are two words index and of so index of but uh in in java there's a rule that the first word that you will have will always start with with the small and the second word will always start with capital it's known as a camel case so camel case basically means starting with small and the rest of the letters will have capital it's a rule that you have to remember so there there is another thing if i want to find let's say if i type over here is last index of now you see this is not camel case what is wrong last index of if I want to make it camel case, what do I have to do? I have to make I capital and L is obviously small. I can't make L capital because if I make L capital, again, it does not convert into method. In order to convert into a method, built-in method, I have to follow last, L small. So, last, in last, the first letter is small, index, for, uh, first capital, of first capital only the first is small now what does last index of mean control s come back and let's see what happens now it says basically 33 why 33 because it's telling me the numeric position of this i can you see this i in manipulation t i o n this i okay so if i want to find out the numeric position from the right i can use last index of and if I want to find the numeric position from the left, I can use is index of. Now, I'm sure you might be thinking, what if I want to find something yeah, somewhere in the middle? We will discuss this later on when we discuss loops. Okay? okay. Right. Um, any problem till now or should I proceed? Okay, okay, I can proceed. Okay. Next, what we'll discuss is, let's discuss in dot, uh, index of, last index of. Then we have is oh, there, there there are lots of other things like a dot uh, Actually, I'll just show you that the you know the the reason why even I don't uh, recall all these myself is because Dreamweaver Six does a lot of work for us. But it's okay. Uh, I just want to show you. I'll come back to this again. Don't worry. I can discuss them over there. Okay, I can discuss these all over there, and you can have a look. Uh, just give me a second. Let me just discuss all these over there because it will take less time for me to remember all the methods which are in our syllabus. Just one second. Okay, so HTML, same thing. I'll come to the code. 
have replaced the code. So we were discussing this. Now listen, I'll type a dot. Do you see what's happened? I get a list of all of this. I get a list. So I can I can use a dot bold. So if I say file save and if I if I go back and if I refresh it it what happens? Hold on, hold on. Oh sorry, I uh, save as desktop must be index. Here you go. Index save. Go back, refresh. This turns into bold. So bold obviously means bold. Now all these are in your syllabus that I'm discussing. Okay. Big will also obviously make it big, larger font. Forget about blink, uh, bold. Um, corrector at, right, important. Corrector at basically means I want to find the corrector at where, uh, let's say three, okay? So let's just save it, go back. It says S. Do you see the small S appearing over here if you can see that? So it tells me, that the character that you're trying to find at the third character at the third index number is S. So it's opposite of what we did right now. Remember the index of and the last index of? Index of was telling me the numeric position of a character. Character at is telling me at which numeric position which character is appearing. You get the point? Yes. Okay. Then we have is uh, uh, um, concat if I, if I want to join both of them i can want to concat this with b okay uh, although uh, there's no need of using this because you do know that we have this the concept is the same uh, you, you know it or not right so there's no point of using that. Okay. Uh, then we have is uh, font color. But what if when the space in between the two words? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll do that for you. I'll do that for you. Uh, for example, I'll say plus B. So what I'll say is space and then plus again. File, save, and let's refresh. Okay. So there's a space. Can you see that? Yes. Right? So join this with a space and join space with this. Remember Excel, the same rule. Quite the same. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. So then we have is font color. Um, you can define anything. You can define anything. For example, you can say yellow. It even tells you that they, there is basically some error. Okay, the good thing about it. Uh, did I miss out something? Why is seeing an error? Anyway, let me try. It's fine working. Anyway, must be something else. Then we have is a dot. Font size, index of, we have discussed. Italic will make it italic. Last index of, we have discussed. Any problem till here? Uh, forget about fixed, forget about construct, okay? I'm not discussing them right now, I will not. Then we have length. Length basically is not a method, it's a property. Now, what do I mean by that? By property, what I mean is that if I type over here is length, okay? Let me just save it, go back. It will tell me 36. 36 is what? It's telling me that there are 36 characters in this string. So I don't have to use bracket because length is not a method. It's just a simple property, okay? Dot, then we have is link, 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 okay. Why is it this? Uh, behaving abnormally just wait please ok 
anyway. Let it behave normally. So I can use a dot link, and over here, what I can say is HTTP right so I'll just save it and refresh it so if I click on this it should take me to that particular website can you see that it's opening yeah right so what's happening is a dot link you have to you have to remember these things okay um, in, in double quotes, I've written HTTP hypertext transfer protocol colon forward slash. This all has to come in double quotes. So now don't ask me, sir, do I have to remember this? Yes, you have to remember all this. Okay, you have to. I know there's a lot of work you have to do, but uh, you call this life. Okay, uh, we've done link, uh, uh, replace. No, no, not important. Uh, sub important, sub string important, sub str important, sup important. Yeah, I'll discuss all of these. Now, first, let's discuss sub string and sub str. Please stay with me. This is really important. If I write over here is sub string. No, why is it gone? Sorry. If I write over here is substring, and if I write over here substring is let's say one comma three. If you remember Excel, you will recall something. What happens now is, no, not this. It says hi. What? Why hi? What's happening is it says substring that zero, one, two. Yes. You sure and yes very three. good very good but in substring okay the third one the three is not inclusive actually these basics frankly are really important in java if your basics are clear java is not a tough model me from one okay sub and super uh to lowercase means obviously to convert the entire thing to a lowercase remember uh, if, it's, if it is somewhere in the uppercase is not inclusive. and to uppercase so basically means to convert Excel. into an uppercase. In we well, in order to explain the sub and the sup, I always give a typical example of mine to all my students, which is obviously H2O, you get the point. Okay. okay, plus 2, okay. Then not a lot of chemistry uh, that I can show off. Okay, so if I say, if I want to get H, what do I do? Dot substring. Sorry. Sub str dot. Let's see the difference. Sub. Now, if I type string, if I want to get um, h Let's see out of h two o, what do I do? S. You tell me. Refresh. I get h i s, not h i. Because now what's happening is you get my question. One means start from h, yeah. and from. Start I want to get. I, I just want to extract h. Extract so what do I do in sub string? I S H yeah H I just I just want the first character in substring in substring three basically meant the third position over here three means till the next three characters I will basically so do is even yeah, I have to define the start is, let's my start is zero uh, one okay zero, comma one, two, three, my end is let's say two five, because right two means Two is not inclusive. Remember, zero. it will extract me. Yes. Comma three. Oh, sorry, I can write one. One. What will happen? One, not two. Five. It says so here we go. I'll H get H. Okay. Yes or no? But if I would have used now, uh, I want H two two to be uh, a substring. Uh, sorry, uh, sub script, Did not substring. Subscript. In sub so what I'll do is. Means I will say concatenate from a dot and in a sub string sub e means why didn't I why didn't I do it wait wait a dot sub string now if I want to what do I do I want to only to Oh, 
1,2. Very good. So, save it. Let's try. Here we go. Excellent. Now, why do we have to do this way? Because now it will say is, I will add another method to it, which is dot uh, sub, which is subscript. Remember in, in, in MS Word, subscript. Now, what happens is, you see 2 goes down. Yes. Because I have used sub. Sub is subscript. Do you remember in MS Word, you have subscript and superscript? In MS Word. Yeah. Yeah, same. So now what I'll do is I want H two O. So again the same thing. Uh, concatenate A dot dot substring. I want is uh, O. So I'll type is uh, zero one two comma three. If you agree with me. Yes or no? And then what I want is plus 2, plus 2 to come in superscript. So again, plus a dot substring and uh, plus 2 is what? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3, comma 4, let's say. Let's first try. Uh, comma 5, sorry. And all I'll do is dot sup, which is superscript. Save it. And finally, we have written h2o. Obviously, um, it's just about learning. Um, you can do this in MS Word in a second. But this, uh, it's not a comparison. So this is how we've been able to do it. Uh, give an example of sub subscript, uh, superscript. You've learned substring. Uh, okay. Yes. Is this all clear? Yes. Somehow. No. But have a look again. Uh, although obviously I'm recording the video as well. You will have a look at because the basics, basics. I'm telling you are very, very important. Uh, once you 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 will reach. Uh, the intimate level, you will say, oh, fine, it's not very tough. I'm telling you, basic are important. Okay. Um, let me see if there is uh, any other method left. So, that so, we have discussed font size, obviously, italic, right, uh, link, we have done. Uh, we uh, replace search no, not 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 important. Uh, we have discussed uh, substring sub str. We have discussed sup. We have discussed two two uh, lowercase. We have discussed two uppercase. Uh, two string not important. So we have mostly discussed at least um, seventy percent of these methods. The rest of them are not in your syllabus. So I'll I will discuss the rest of them with you again as well. Okay, in our final revision. But for now, these are all the methods in our string manipulation. Yes or no? Get the point? Yes. Okay. Is this, is this all clear? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I will start with arrays today, but, but I will continue this tomorrow. I will just give you a brief introduction what arrays actually are. Uh, for example, I could say variable array A is equals to in this, I will type, let's say over here is um, del uh, hp uh, shiba uh, no, whoa. No, whoa. Okay. Now I could say is document dot write and I could say over here is a and over here is one and let's see what happens just save it come back it says HP because one this is zero and this is one 
Now let me tell you that tell you what arrays actually are. I have defined a variable a, but this is now an array. Why is it an array? Because I have used the square parentheses. If you remember my previous lectures, why do we use the square parentheses? We always use the square parentheses for databases. Do you remember? Yes. We always use the brackets for functions or methods. We always use the curly curly for uh, our, our scripting. Okay? For our scripting. So, whenever I refer to square parentheses, computers will know I am referring to a database. So, array is what? An array is a container again, just like variable was a container. Array is also a container, but the difference between um, a container and a normal variable is a container is a very large container, and a variable is a very small container. So, in a large container, you can contain lots of lots of variables. I could add hundreds, even thousands of, although it doesn't make sense, we will not do that, but I can. Okay, so by having comma separated values in double quotes in square parentheses, I can define lots of items in my variable, which is known as an array. And the array basically, again, if I want to refer to an array, if I write document or write a, and inside a, if I write uh, one, it means uh, one, which one which is coming in square parentheses, basically means tell me. Uh, what is in the first uh, index number, which is HP. If I write 0, it will give me tell. If I write 2, it will give me this, Lenovo. Sorry, it will give me, uh, sorry, Toshiba. 3, it will give me Lenovo. So, so and so, so, this is what arrays actually are. Okay. For example, you visit a website, and in the website you can uh, you, you 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 can only type the following five countries in a text box. What you will do is you will make that text box equal to the array, and the array will be will be equal to those those five countries. Okay. So slowly and gradually, we will keep on discussing lots of things. Maybe someone will ask you that make a web page and the web page make a form and in that form make uh, a text box and in the text box you can only enter five cities. If someone enters any other city than that five cities, it will display as a message. So um, obviously Java has a lot of lot of uh, scope. Okay, um, did you get till now? Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll just stop here. I will uh, share this video with you. Okay. Tomorrow, same time, I'll meet you. And tomorrow we have to finish arrays. After finishing arrays tomorrow, we have to st start discussing the if condition, which is very, very important. Okay. I'll give you some various examples with an if condition after doing the entire array. Right. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, this will not take time, but please keep on revising uh, my lectures. And, and, and one thing very important, if you don't get anything,